In this video, I will be showing you how you can easily create two database or multiple number of database connections. Okay, in your node application, and I will also show you how you can easily insert the data into that databases. Okay, means MongoDB database. But before that, I just need to say you, if you have not subscribed my channel, then please subscribe, which will keep me motivated for posting this kind of informative content in YouTube. So let's start the video. So here I have opened my VS Code. So first of all, what I did, let me explain you because the things what I did, it is very simple, which you will understand it very easily. I have created a node application using npm init minus y. I have done it have created my node application. Once my node application is created, I have installed one dependency that is MongoDB and I am using version 6.10. So if you will be using my trick, so I would prefer that use any version of 6 point because in major changes, they may change the process. Okay. But the logic will be exactly the same. Okay. So see what we are doing. I will explain my code. Uh, and this code is also given in the description you can also take it from there here you can see first of all i am taking mongo client from mongodb that i am requiring and there then after i am storing two urls inside two different variables you may have a doubt that this urls are same why i am storing i am storing this same urls in different constants because i am showing you you can here store a local url means that is connected to your system and one you can store which is present in the atlas also mongodb atlas okay so that different urls you can keep but for now i am keeping it simple i am connecting two databases collection which will be in the local system so right now if i would show you uh, this is my mongodb local database so if you have any doubt like how i am showing this i already made a video uh, how you can use this extension so you can go and watch it right now you can see any database having name database one is not there okay so after this urls what i am doing i am creating two clients two different clients one is for one database collection another is for another database collection okay and then i am connecting to both the databases i am assuming right now you don't think it as these are same you think it as different okay then i am connecting both both of them i am connecting at a single function which is connect and insert function which i am calling at the bottom okay and inside that i have three things that is try catch and finally in the try i will try to insert my data whatever i have in catch i will print the error if any error will come and in finally i will close the connection which i have created okay so that the simple steps and in the try method i am first of all connecting the two databases then after the connection is established what i am doing i am creating two databases if that database will be there then it will only navigate but if that database is not there what it will do it will create that two databases means database one and database two it will create okay then after that what we are doing we are creating the collections what will be the collection name in our database that i am doing users in both the cases okay and then i am storing it in the collection okay and this collection is linked with the databases different databases okay that you can see here then i have to insert in the first database i have to insert some data here you can see it will take some time and it is a promise that's why i'm using async and await is also using here and here because it will take some time for fulfillment here after that one uh, for the collection one what i am doing i am to the collection one i have to insert one data if you have multiple data you can use insert many okay but i have a single data so i am using insert one and in that i am inserting my name and email okay and then i am printing whatever the result is there okay if it is done successfully then it should print in the terminal similarly i am doing with the second database but this time i am having a name of others and age is 24 this time i don't have an have a email field okay and if these two are successful it will print two times the result or if it fails then it will print this and that finally even if it is success or rejected it will print it will go to this final statement and close the connection so let's see so for running this i will open my terminal and then i will write node server dot js and then click on enter so see it have printed insert a document first and insert a document in database 2 so right now it is not showing anything but if i'll right click here and refresh you can see two database 1 and database 2 is created so if i'll go to database 1 and click on the users collection and see the data it is showing abhishek and this is the gmail id which is correct if i'll go to database 2 and see the document which is others and age is 24 so this is a short video for explaining this trick how you can connect and insert the data into multiple databases if this video is helpful, please like the video, share with your friends and subscribe the channel. That's all for today guys. Thank you for watching.